Hey, welcome back to the Zombie Tactics channel. Who was that uh, with his tongue hanging out of his mouth in the opening clips there and <laughs> exhibiting something less than stellar uh, form in the second clip? I, I, I don't know. That guy looks familiar. You know, you do these videos sometimes and you learn more yourself than uh, from the videos than you're ever going to learn from doing the courses uh, themselves. It's amazing how that works out. And uh, yes, I was at another uh, firearms training facility. It's another gun foo episode uh, reviewing a training facility for you. I was out at uh, Valley Defense Consulting Incorporated. There's a little ad blurb that they sent me in the mail. And uh, out in uh, Modesto, California, uh, the Central Valley of California. So if you're in the uh, the general range of Lodi, Stockton, Merced, Manteca, Modesto, and uh, parts south from there, uh, this is you know, really for you, right off the bat. Um, the capsule review is um, great people, great facility, great training. I guess I can just stop the video right now. You should just go sign up and stop listening to me yammering on. Um, yeah, this is going to be that kind of a review, kind of almost a fanboy review, and I apologize if it comes off that way, but I was extremely impressed by Vince Benzini, his wife Christy, and her brother Mike, um, our instructors and line coaches for the day. I was taking a course called Tactics, where do I have it written down here? Tactics for Close Quarters Encounters. It's the second session that they gave of this uh, new course, and I was very fortunate to be out there that day uh, on the line with, I think, four or five other guys who were all experienced shooters, most of them in my age range, which always helps me to feel a little better about myself and my shooting ability. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the facilities and the company at first. Um, the facilities that we were at that day, the Modesto Police Department range, I don't know if they're able to use this range for all of their courses. I get the impression that it's on an as-needs-be uh, basis, uh, but immaculate, incredible facilities. You won't see facilities like this being used by many regional companies uh, uh, none that I'm aware of, frankly. Most of the time when you go with a smaller facility that doesn't have a, a national uh, you know, scope or a national presence, you don't find uh, this quality of a, of a facility. Turning targets, immaculately kept grounds, the kind of thing that you would really more expect to see at some place like a front site or a gun site or one of the big schools. Um, they got nothing on these guys in terms of facilities, at least so far as the Modesto Police Department facilities are concerned. I'm aware that Valley Defense does some uh, training on some other ranges that are more similar to what you normally find for some of their other courses. They do teach a number of other courses for, uh, you know, concealed carry permits and defensive handgun, defensive shotgun, all the standard stuff that most firearms training facilities have courses available for. One of the things that I did think was cool about their course offerings, if you take a look at it online, and there'll be a, a link in the the, uh, the video notes here, um, most of their courses, they have what's called a mastery edition of that course, where what it is, is it's all the same techniques that you learned in the main course, but shooting only. So none of the lecture, very little demonstration, just boom, let's get right to it and, and hone our skills and tune ourselves up. That, that's a great way to spend a day if you want to do a lot of shooting and not just be out at the range plinking and not really accomplishing much or have some advice and some coaching on how to get some things better. Uh, so it's, it's kind of neat that they've got that available too. Um, Vince, Christy, and Mike, uh, Vince Benzini, his wife, Christy, Christy's brother, Mike, great instructors. They're the kind of people that they have the standard sort of resume uh, that you'd find for a lot of people who run uh, firearms training facilities, you know, law enforcement experience, um, military experience, exp uh, post-certified, they're NRA certified. They've got all that good stuff going for them. But, you know, you'll find if you do a number of trainings, as I do, that it's not always the case that the people with that law enforcement background make the best trainers. They may know their stuff, they just may not know how to train you very well or instruct very well. That turned out to be uh, not the case uh, with these folks, though. Vince, Chris, and Mike excellent instructors on top of having a great body of knowledge and experience from their own careers as law enforcement officers and law enforcement trainers as well. So 
that's the kind of thing you look for with a training facility is uh, not only do they have the knowledge but can they teach it and in this case at Valley Defense the answer is an absolute yes. Moving on to the course material itself uh, obviously we weren't doing a, a basic course here we were doing a more advanced course all of our firing was from a concealed position. We went through a number of exercises. The exercises tended to follow a certain format that I really liked, and that was Vince was going to, uh, or one of the other trainers was going to show you a technique or tell you about a technique, explain why that technique works, have you do it on the range slowly, then up to speed, then tune it up, and maybe give you some pointers on how you could get it better. That seemed to be a general format that they followed over and over during the day, and it's one that I really uh, think works well. Uh, everybody that was there, I think, had the same opinion. I am kind of sneaky about how I ask students a lot of pointed questions behind the scenes when the instructors aren't looking and you'll get uh, very honest answers that way and all the answers were in the affirmative that everybody was having and a good time and everybody was learning a lot during this uh, tactics for close quarters uh, encounters course. So what were some of the things we did? Of course all presentations were from concealment because that's probably where you'd be in the real world, right? If you're not a law enforcement officer, certainly, and in some cases, if you're a detective or something, it would still be from concealment. So shooting at, you know, uh, how far can you reach your hand? That's how close you're going to be to somebody, or maybe even a little closer. So shooting one-handed, shooting from retention positions, shooting um, while on the move in various directions, working in... Uh, not just static, but 360 degree environments using, um, you know, human dummy, uh, 3D dummy type things instead of just working on flat paper targets. The facilities, again, uh, one of the things about the facilities, turning targets, that always adds a dimension of, uh, of stress or excitement or, you know, whatever to the whole thing to kind of rattle you a little bit. That uh, uh, always affects you a little differently than just the beeper on the shot timer and uh, Vince was heavy on that shot timer as well during the day kind of working us all and get us uh, getting us tuned up and and uh, getting us to do what we could do to the best of our abilities is that the right way to phrase that yeah I think so um, the second part of the day after lunch uh, we worked with airsoft pistols very nice airsoft pistols not cheap plastic junk but metal pistols designed to be close approximation of uh, Glock 17 handguns, full blowback design so the slide will you know, flip back just like a real gun, about the right weight, about the right uh, trigger uh, feel to the trigger uh, group, so very realistic in that respect. The exercises that we did, however, were a little different than what I've seen in a lot of force-on-force -force exercises that have been done with airsoft or simunition pistols before. I've done some of these trainings before, and usually what you know going into these things is that, yes, this will be a shooting exercise or a firing exercise. I'm going to have to either shoot or hit somebody with the gun or fend off somebody in some way, shape, or form. Not so with these exercises, not necessarily anyway. And that I thought was an interesting aspect that they added to this that you wouldn't necessarily get from a lot of force on force training. These were every bit as much exercises in tactics and mindset and psychology as they were you know how quickly can you get your gun out of your holster and handle a particular situation with maybe one or two people uh, as your opponents um, so in that respect this was definitely a a, a value added in, in to the degree that you weren't necessarily finding yourself in a shooting situation or a defensive situation you had to go into it blind given the scenario they gave you and figure out what's going on and figure out you know is this a bad guy? Is this a good guy? Is there anybody else around there? What's going on here? Just like you would have to do in real life. And uh, so I got you know major points given to them there for, for thinking out these exercises very carefully. Um, I got the impression that they were kind of original exercises or they were at least exercises that are standard ones that they tweaked uh, to the kind of material they're trying to teach you. If the entire course was just that second half of the day doing the force-on-force -force exercises, I really would have thought that it would have been worth the price of the, 
the course, which is, I think, $160. This is the second uh, session that they've given of this course, but you know what? Uh, there were no hitches and, and, and no sticking points. It was a, a well-oiled machine, if I can use uh, that phrase. And there again, a sign that uh, Vince and Christy and Mike have put a tremendous amount of thought into the quality of the instruction and how they're going to run a course like this. They really know what they're doing uh, in this respect. So maybe an overly glowing review, I don't know, uh, <laughs> for Valley Defense uh, Industries, Valley Defense Consulting Incorporated, I'll get the name right, um, highly recommended. If you're in the Central Valley of California, heck, it's really not out side your range that far to say you might consider driving from Reno or from uh, you know from the Bay Area or from Sacramento but definitely if you're in Lodi, Stockton, Merced, Manteca, Modesto maybe as far south as Fresno uh, this is a good school and this is one that I would highly recommend it getting the big old ZT stamp of approval for Valley uh, Defense Consulting Incorporated uh, go for it good people take some courses from them uh, this is a this is a place you want to go. You won't be disappointed. That's Zombie Tactics for today, preparing you for a world gone dead, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.